Tebow with Wild Card Belly Dance, and today I'm going to be breaking down the level one move. It's called Basic Egyptian. We're going to be doing the half turn, the full turn, and I'll also be breaking down how your finger symbols are matched to the move. So those of you who come from a traditional ATS background, you'll notice some subtle and intentional differences that we've added to Basic Egyptian to make the move our own. I hope you enjoy. So Basic Egyptian is a four count move. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's a cue for the half turn. And the leader will keep doing the turn, the half turn, front to back, until she transitions the move into something else. So starting with the feet, I'll bring up the hems of my mellow so you can see what my toes are doing. On count one, we're going to be on the ball of our right foot. Count two is going to be flat. Count three, we're on the ball of our left foot. Count four is flat. So it's ball, flat, ball, flat. Easy enough. So now let's move up to what's happening with the hips. There's going to be a swivel happening with your hips. And also, your hips are going to come up just a little bit. So to get that swivel, you can think about placing your, if you're in your dance or clock phase, with noon in front of you, six o'clock behind you, three and nine on either side, you can think about putting your toe at the two, turning it to 10, and it's going to cause that hip swivel. At the same time, you just add a little bit of lift to the hip. So it's swivel, flat, swivel, flat, swivel, flat, swivel, flat. So now let's focus on what's happening with the shoulders and the arms. So you want to make sure you have this beautiful open space happening right between your shoulder and your neck. You don't want to be wearing your shoulders as your earrings. So make sure you've got those big friendly hands that are pushing down the tops of your shoulders. So what's going to be happening on count one is you're going to be moving your right shoulder back which means it's going to be moving your right arm back and right hand back. Count two is neutral. Count three, the left shoulder is going to move back. Count four is neutral. It's very subtle what's happening with your shoulders, but it's going to affect your arms all the way up. And make sure you have energy going out all the way through the tops of your fingertips. So let's focus on what's now happening with the hands. We're going to be playing our finger symbols, but before we get our finger symbols on, I'll just kind of show what my hands are doing. So on count one, when the right shoulder is driven back, the right hand is coming back as well. And remember, you will be playing your finger cells. On count two, it's neutral. Count three, that left shoulder goes back, making sure that your left hand is also going to go back as well. So when you're playing your finger symbols, your hands are moving around the finger symbols. So there's going to be a little bit of stylization happening with your hands, a little bit of movement that's going to be occurring as you're playing your finger symbols while you're transitioning your arms back and forth. So the whole move looks like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now let's demo how, with, how to do the half turn. I'll bring up my hands again. So the cue for the half turn is happening through the upper body. On count one, rather than bringing my shoulder back, I'm going to bring my shoulder forward, which is going to um, change the orientation of where my chest is going. So it's going to look like this. You'll have two places in order to see where the cue is happening on count one and count three. So here's my normal basic Egyptian. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's the cue for the half turn. Yeah? It's very subtle, very subtle, but you'll be able to notice it when you're dancing with your, um, with your other dancers. So what happens on count four is where the move's going to change. Count one, we're on the ball of our foot, there's the cue, flat, count three, the shoulder comes forward again on the ball of the foot. Count four is we're going to be turning the direction. So let's start with what's happening with, that feet, with the feet. Let's pretend that you're just focusing on what's happening with the feet. Count one is on the ball, two is flat, count three is on the ball, count four, so we're pivoting around, and count four comes down in the direction. One, two, three, pivot. One, two, three, pivot. One, two, three, pivot. Yeah? So you're only going to do the cue once uh, in, the, in the initial time. We're doing on count one and count three. Other than that, you don't have to continue the cue with your shoulders. So let's do it all together. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, cue, two, three, turn, one, two, three, turn, one, two, 
three, turn. One, two, three, turn. Transitioning into a loop. 